Okay, so, so you see this is Art Store. Yep. And it burnt down? No, the house burnt down years later. So the house in behind it? Yeah, it burnt down, they rebuilt it, rebuilt the house. Okay, yeah. and where where was his store? Right below the house, that's it. On the but highway. I mean, is that is that East Kelowna? East Kelowna, yeah. How long did he have the store? Oh, two or three years, I think. Yeah, you can see this is a double exposure, and in the center there's a, a picture of a woman in a dress. Is that a woman? Looks like it to me. Could be. I don't know. There's an old Christmas card. Yeah. I don't know so, who that is, but it's, it's a relative, I think. It's sorry, who? It might be my dad's first wife. I don't know. I've never seen a picture of it. Ah. I don't know who that is. I think that's Indian, though. I'm pretty sure. Recognize any of those kids? Uh, Dog. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, that's Kippy, I think. Have you got something covering your microphone? Because I can't really hear you. Where's the microphone? I have no idea. It must be in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Um uh, Norm Rogers, Andrea, Mike Nykamp, Jack Wanless, Lillian, Audrey Rogers. Oh, and I thought this was like the back of the... Uh, this is who married who and when. Oh, yeah, January 4th, 1955. Yeah. Right. Oh. And then births. Right. These are, this is everybody's birth date. Yeah. G Ivy, Lillian. Look, I don't know if that's, that doesn't look like my mother's writing for some reason. No, could it have been Norman's? Could have been, yes. Yeah, could have been. Yeah, I'll bet you that was Norman. So R.M. Rogers is Robert Rogers, is uh, Norman's son? Uh, yeah, where do you Top of the that? list, 1950? Yeah, that's young Robert, yeah. He died last year. Apparently. Yeah. Who's Emily? That was uh, first, first one. Her, Constantine was her maiden name. Okay, so that's Art and Norman's mother? Yes. Elsie uh, died in 1911. November 12th, 1911. And Elsie would have been your dad, your great grandmother? Or I have no idea who that would be. Maybe Norman's great grandmother? First, first, uh, I've ever heard of Elsie. Huh. Uh, oh, oh, just a minute now. That, that's the girl's name, Elsie, age nine, four. Four, no, four years, six months. Yes, that's Art's sister. Oh, but she died as a child. Yes. What did she die of? I don't know. Nobody ever talked about it. Nobody, huh. except Arthur. In the later years, he wanted to know all about her. And we got a picture. I've got a picture of her gravestone, which was drawn by some lady. I don't know a relative. And uh, it was in Paul Ruin in Cornwall, I think. Oh, so she died back in England? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Art oh. never even met her. I don't believe. No, it couldn't have, because he was born in 1914, I think. So 
so Robert Rogers and Kate Merle got married in December 1st, 1921, or, yeah, it must have been 21. 22, well, yeah, 21, yeah, because Jean, Jean was born in 22. So Jean was the, the first child they had together. Yeah, yeah. I did, I, I, for some reason, I thought that it was one of the boys, but I guess when you think about it, there aren't any boys in there. To... No. So Robert Jean, then Robert. Ivy, then... December nope. 1st, 1921. And what's that say? E D for oh Bryden. Reverend Bryden. That's who that is. <laughs> and William Murrow. Oh, the witness the witness uh, was Valentine Valentin Percival. Oh Mr. Percival, okay. Yeah. And he was something the... George Murrow. Oh, the witnesses, George Murrow and Valentine Percival. Yeah. Huh. And Jean was born in 22, Ivy 24, Lillian 26. Oh, she was born in 26. And then Bob in 28, me in 30, Charlie in 31, John 35. I thought it was 36. Come off the guy. And then Arthur and Norman, they were both born after that girl died. Yes. Oh no, she died. She died in twenty in nineteen fifteen. Who? Elsie. No, it looks like oh. Elsie died November twelfth, nineteen eleven. Oh okay, and then it was age, three years. Age of four years six months. Eighteenth of September, nineteen twenty. Well, that's quite a spread though between her and Arthur. It would sort of make more sense that it what was. Happened? What happened on the 18th, 1920? She died in 1911 and Art was born in 1914. It doesn't have an Arthur's birthday, eh? Oh, yeah, there. 1914, yeah. And Norman was 1919, yeah, that's right. But uh, I don't understand that September 18th, 1920 up the top there. Could that be when Alfred Cosentine died? Yes, yeah, probably. His mother, and was he? His mother died in 1920, right after Norman was born. Like, he never knew his mother. Whose mother? Norman's. Oh, Norman's mother died. Norman and Art's mother died right. in 1920. That's right, I remember them. Yeah, mentioning. so she was, he was, Norman wasn't even a year old. No, no, that was the childbirth's problem that she died of. Huh. Never recovered from having them. And then Adrian Merle's in there. 1917. August 5th, 1917. But nothing about his, nothing about his father. No, no. I have no idea. Absolutely not. That's, that's not spoken of. There were rumors, but one was a rumor of a guy named Miller. Miller? Killer or Biller? Miller. Oh, Miller. Yeah. And would that, that have been in the uh, Kettle Valley? No. East Kelowna. Oh, East Kelowna. That's what I don't think they did. Because this Cosentine person was Penticton, eh? No, that, there's a name there, uh, Alfred Cosentine Olofsson or something like that. Do you read that? Olofsson Road. RR1 Penticton. Yeah, and then, also, and then 
uh, Poplar Grove. Henry J. Poplar Grove grew Route 1 Penticton. Oh, so there were relatives in Canada then. Yeah, and Emily sure. Ellen Rogers has Cosentine in brackets after her name. That's right. She was that was her maiden name. I remember that. But I didn't know there were any relatives. I knew that my dad went down to Penticton to look for relatives with Arthur. But I thought they were looking for Rogers. Maybe they were looking for the Constantine. But you know, they never talked to they were weird people in those days. Hmm. I, I wonder if there are any Cosentines still around. I just wonder about that. It's the first I've ever known that. Because Art had me looking, trying to get information on Constantine in uh, Paul Rue. Where the little girl died and was buried. Hmm. Now, I don't even know I, how my dad met her or why Paul Rue and what the connection was with my dad and her. I think. Well, she, it was. How were they up with her? Was your dad involved in a church or anything? Well, it's a long way away from where my dad was. Yeah, yeah. In those but days, it's probably it's someone who buggy. someone they, who put two and two together. You know, here's a, a young woman with a, a a kid and no husband, and here's a a husband with kids and and no wife. Let's put them together. Well. Like more arranged than than just happenstance. Oh, maybe, maybe I don't know. Arranged by friends. I don't think they arranged much with my dad. No, I don't think so. All the boys separated and went. One went to Africa. One stayed in England. And my dad came to Canada. Okay. There he is again. August 1888. There's something interesting. What's that? August 17, 1880, from Trowbridge, England. Well, my brother, my dad, I didn't know what day his birthday was. 17. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I'll be damned. And not only that, but according to the census, he was born in 1881. But everybody thought he was 69 years old when he died. So I don't get this weird stuff. So he was he was really 68. Well, he's 70. He he died in 1950, so he died. He would have been oh, he'd 70, be 70 instead of 69. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see, 50, 60, 69, yeah. And somebody said he was, he actually died on the 19th. But he died in Essendale, so I would say uh, that he probably died on the 19th on the birth certificate. Yeah, there'd, they, there'd be a record of that too, probably. I think I looked it up years ago, but now I can't access it. And there is Uncle Harry, I think, with the horses. No, it says Fred, Fred Cochran. Oh, Fred Cochran. <laughs> Freddie Cochran. Oh, my God. And that, there's a five-ton Studebaker. Do you remember that? Yep. That was Harry, uh, Clarence's. Where do you see yeah. it? Yeah, it's down on the bottom. It says, and then it says, names of dogs? Question mark. Oh, that would be uh, Brett and Nipper. <laughs> Although I don't think that the little one doesn't look like Nipper, but the big one looks like Brett. My grandmother so, must have named him because she was British, very two or three. So this is that he sort of switched. To, Christian Valley, 1940. This is Norman writing about his Uncle Harry? Yeah, him and then Uncle Harry went out. He was out on the trap line with Uncle Harry one winter. 
Where do you see that? Uh, yeah, he spent the winter, winter 1940, 41, then he came back and joined the army. Right. And Harry was Kate's brother. Yes. So that's Harry Merle. Yep. Harry Merle and Norman Rogers. Yeah. Corner showing with my uncle Clarence. What? Yeah, well, they were up around Big White. Back of Big White. Yeah. A trap line. There was a trap line there. Huh. And Aunt Edith. Oh. Uh, corner showing with my uncle Clarence and Aunt Edith. Do you see people in that picture? No, he stayed in this log oh. cabin with them. Oh. He stayed there with Clarence and Edith. There's probably pictures of them further on. 1937, was it? Uh, yeah. 40 to 41. Oh, the truck is a 1930. 37 Three. or 39? The truck? Yeah. It says at the bottom, Aunt Edith truck is uh, 1930. I got a box in front. I can't see. Yeah, I'm, I can't uh, seem to move it. Okay, okay so. Oh, that made them big. Oh. Okay, so this is Norman, Mum and Dad, and Arthur, I think. East Kelowna, yeah. Yeah, Art and Norman, 1941, when Norman just joined up, probably embarkation leave. Adrian, 1941. I wonder why they cut that picture up. There was probably someone in there that they didn't want in it. <laughs> uh, I wonder who that would be. Maybe his first girlfriend, Ellen. Maybe. Ellen and was then from El uh, Saskatchewan. Ivy, Lillian, and Jean. Yeah. Good God, they wore slacks in those days. Yeah. Must have been just back from work, I'll bet. That's Adrian. You know, they, they didn't, they look the same. Yeah, they do. And that's, that's the house in East Kelowna, I think. Can you show it back? Or No, that's it, isn't it? I think that's the house in East Kelowna, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it could be, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it is, it is. But I don't know what that building is behind. It must be a shed. I don't remember it. Yeah, so it doesn't say what year that was. I mean, it's probably somewhere in the 40s, eh? Early 40s? It would be early 40s, yeah. Or late, late. Yeah, early 40s, I guess. Yeah. Now you can see a picture of Art. My God, he looks like a, an airline captain. Yeah. <laughs> Something sticking up over his shoulder. There. Now that's, There's, that's Clarence's house. That, or our house, maybe. There's, uh, there's some of Janice's features in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she reminded me a lot of my mother. Yeah. Same picture over again.
Doesn't give you any more clues on the house. No. Just the chimney that looks like the back to the west end of the house, but I don't remember the building behind. Oh, Norman. There's Norman as Hitler. Yeah, he used to do the Hitler act. <laughs> pretty good at it. Is that you or Bob? Bob. And that's Charlie, John. Charlie, no, me, Charlie, and John. Or who's the dog? That's Britt, my grandmother's dog. Britt? Britt, B-R-I-T, British, of course. Oh, <laughs> of course. That's Christian Valley. Uh, that that Ivy. That would be about 1937 or 8. Yeah, I, I, my uh, guess would be John, John looks like he's maybe 3, maybe 4. Yeah, well, maybe 4. So 4, be 39, I guess. Yeah. Just before the war. Yeah. And then the three girls. Jean, Ivy, and Lillian. Yeah. And that's 43. You probably get the bigger versions now. No. Who the hell are those people? Charlie, Mum, me, John. Who's the geek on the right? I think it's set at the bottom. A friend. Friend. No name friend. Doesn't mean anything to me. And then Lillian on the right. I think. So he, whose friend would he have been? Bob's or a family friend? I, I don't know. No idea. Wow. <laughs> Jean and Lillian. Yeah. No, no mistake. They look petrified. What, what year is that? Uh, 45. 45. That, that doesn't, that doesn't yeah. make sense. That's after the war. Yeah. What's it say on the bottom? Jean and Lillian. Uh, buddy. And then Buddy oh, yeah, in brackets. That 1945. Yeah, that fits. That's Lillian. What year? 1944. 44. She worked at the hardware store. She didn't, they wouldn't let her in the Air Force because she had a murmur, heart murmur. Huh. All three of them went to join the Air Force at the same day. This is Arthur. I don't know the women. Eleanor Johnson and Jean in the first picture. Eleanor Johnson. Oh. And Jean Merle or Jean Rogers? Jean Merle. Maybe. Uh, Kellett. Is that Keller or Kellett? Kellett. Oh, uh, they were people I didn't know. No, Eleanor Johnson, Bart. Oh, Bart. Oh, Bart was his friend in the army when he first joined up, Arthur. Bart, uh, what the heck was his name? They remained friends right up until Bart died. Bart Richardson. Oh, damn. Oh, there's, there are two women they met on the train. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nineteen forty-two. Oh, that's Norman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Because Arthur didn't join until forty-three, I think it was. Oh, there's there's Ivy and Jean in their uniforms. Yeah. They were on leave. Air Force uniforms, yeah. 
Ottawa. Oh yeah, they were in Ottawa then. They were stationed at Rockcliffe. Basic training, I think it was. And that's Norman leaving on the train in Kelowna for embarkation, I think. And yeah, Carl. that's the train at field. Uncle Charlie in South Africa to give them an idea of the size of engines we have at the pull in mount in pull trains steam driven. I've never seen most of these pictures. This is the McCullough Road where we live. Which uh, which uh, one is McCullough Road? Did, did he say that? Um, That's Lillian in her uniform at Mac and Max. Yeah. And then she went to Bennett's. Art, art in London. That's London, Ontario, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like London, Ontario, not England. So it's Ivy, Lillian, and who the heck's that? Jean. Is that Jean? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I guess maybe it is. It has to be. It's at McCullough Road by the looks of it. Lillian. Is that also McCullough Road? No, I don't know where that is. I'm trying to think. Uh, no year on it, eh? No. It might might be Ruffin. When she was going with Jack, although I don't know, that wasn't I, that wasn't after the war. Jack didn't show up for a few years. I think that's Bill Merle's truck. Uh, yeah, Lillian still in her uniform. Yeah. I don't know who that geek is. This guy? Yeah. Yeah, it's John and some family friend. And I think this is Bob. All those top ones are John. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can see that. No. Is that your house? That's the house, yeah. And the, the root cellar. I think it's that was the cellar. Oh, yeah. Or garage or something. I can't remember. That's John and his friend Heather. Oh, Heather Merle. Good God. They were about the same age, yeah. Okay, she, the house. She looks a little younger. That looks like Bill and Verna's house. I'm not sure. This one here? Yeah, I don't know whose house that was, really. But it's not, not yours. Not ours. Uh, oh. See the door. Maybe that was our house. Yeah, I think it is. 
Yeah, the kitchen's there, and the, yeah, and that was it. Do you recognize yeah. the the truck? Of for course, car? You walk into, and Bill's truck, thirty four Ford, something like that. They were always at our place. And that's John and Heather. John and Heather. John and Heather. And then John in the middle of there in the uh, F86. So I was 54 just before you got sick? Yep. Year, year before he went overseas, I think. Well, there's Edith, I think. I can't tell. It's Gene and Ivy with Art. Gene, Ivy, and Lillian. They're on leave. There's Art and Lillian there. Art and Lillian, yeah. The other one's Ivy and Jean. They must have been on embark or on leave too. That's Jean and then Andrea. Lillian. Jean and Lillian. Oh, okay. And Ivy. East Clover. Ooh, oh, that's Ivy bending over. Yeah. Been sitting in the snow or something. Oh, God. Wow. Yeah, I don't know where. Oh, that's Vancouver. That's I think. Vancouver, yeah. yeah. Changed a little entrance, bit. Entrance to Stanley Park. There's the Marine building in the background. Yeah. And uh, Lost Lagoon. Lost Lagoon was much smaller then. Yeah. I can't figure out that bottom right picture. <laughs> I think it's it looks Fraser. it looks Fraser like Canyon. around Princeton. Yeah, Fraser Canyon, Princeton. They wouldn't have been there at that time. Princeton yeah. Highway wasn't put in until 19. Uh, so maybe like Lillooet or something. Uh, yeah, coming down there. Probably the railway track across the way. Who's Noreen? Noreen, I remember that. That's probably where. Oh, John Noren. Oh, John Noren. John, John Noren. Ivy and Jean. Yeah. And who's the other? Don't know. Oh, put it back again. Yeah. Hang on a sec. I'm gonna just go up. There's and there's. Something underneath that picture. In our garden at East Cologne, 1942. Yeah, okay. John Norn, is that? But who's the other guy? Norman. Oh, Norman's on the left, right, and John Norn, right. They were from, Nor John Norn was from Christian Valley. I think Ivy sort of liked him. Oh, probably. <laughs> and there's some reprobates. Oh, God. Yeah, for sure. So that's you, Charlie, and John? Yeah. Well, Charlie on the left.
you look uh, like a bit of a sullen teenager. Yeah, I did, didn't I? What year was that? It doesn't say. I think about 45, maybe. 44, 45. Yeah. Well, John, John looks, what, 10? Eight? Uh, yeah, I would say eight, so maybe 43. Yeah. Yeah. Mom and Bob. So Jean looked a lot like your mom, too. Who? Jean. Oh, you think so? Yeah. I guess. I don't know. I never never thought of that. Who's this? Uh, Charlie, Bob, and Bill. You look oh. a little happier there. So Bob looks like he's about 18. Fourteen, maybe. I look about thirteen, twelve. How much older than you is Bob? One year. Well, that was quite a year then. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Wilcox. Bill was my, yeah, Bill was his gymnastic instructor from the time I was 10 years old and until I reached the age of 21, yeah, and then he joined the army. Fifty cents a season. Yeah. Um, end of March. Till end, till end of March, the gymnastic clubs were up. Operated by the provincial government throughout BC. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Jack Lyons was the chief instructor. Well, who was the chief instructor? Jack Lyons. Yeah, Jack Lyons. Jack Linus, wasn't it? Where do you see Jack Linus? Well, uh, it's it's right in behind here. It looks like L Y O N S. Yeah, Jack Lyons. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he came to Kelowna a couple of times. I remember. He was based in Vancouver, though. I think. Were you ever in gymnastics? No, just boxing. Bill Wilcox used to take us boxing down to. Ken Tickman, I think it was, to the Legion, Ladner Legion, Charlie and I. I'd get the hell pounded out of me. Just why, did, why didn't you ever teach any of your kids how to box? What's that? Why didn't you teach any of your kids how to box? Because I didn't want to be boxing. <laughs> Who wants to be punched in the head? head? Charlie always beat me up. Is that Norman at Curry Barracks? Yeah. I didn't realize he was at Curry Barracks. Uh, oh, he's not a dispatch rider anyway. No. Two months in Ver Vernon, that was uh, hard work. Curry Barracks. I don't know if I forgot about Curry Barracks. Where were they? Calgary. Oh, Calgary. Yeah, basic training was pretty rough in those days. Pretty rough, but he gained 25 pounds in his first four months. <laughs> yeah, he ate well. He never ate at home. There was no food. Oh, these might be the the uh, the uh, oh, what's their names? Scots. 
Uh, it's Miriam and Jane Noble. Oh, no. And the Lockery's. Oh, I remember the Lockery's name. And I vaguely remember the Noble name, but that was only in letters. And this might be a Scott. Yeah, these are all the nobles, people you wouldn't know, eh? This is noble. I don't, I don't know who they were, but I remember the name coming up somewhere. They're, they're people that looked uh, looked after him when he was stationed back east. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Port Stanley. That's Ontario, yeah. yeah. That's southern Ontario down around... Uh, Niagara Falls, isn't it? I'm just. It's on Lake Erie. Lake Erie, no. So I think this was like a girlfriend of his. Oh yeah, yeah. This is all the all the nobles. Yeah. Okay. Sitting watching TV, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably not. No TV then. No. Berryfield Barracks. Yeah, Kingston. Berryfield. That's uh, Kingston. I remember winter there, R8. That was pretty horrible. Yeah. Berryfield. Well, I'll be darned. Dude. That's quite the uh, outfit there. Yeah, that's what you wore in the wintertime. <laughs> Very few. Yeah. Huh. Trade school. That's yeah. not Norman. That's not Norman in any of those pictures, I don't think. But not the bottom right. Not this one, no. He might be in some of these. He took the picture, I guess. Let's have a look. Yeah, I don't really see him in there. Uh, I guess he took the picture, maybe. Eh? There's one guy missing out of the ranks. Yeah. Did you, you read the note? He, uh, oops. Winter. He uh, he got an electric iron. He set up a little business pressing uniforms. <laughs> yeah, that would be normal. Very industrious. Yeah. Oh, the Lockeries. I remember that name too. I think that's him in London. That's Art. Yeah. Yeah, Art was in the same place. Uh, like Art and the girls were all in London at one time or another. And they met people. Nineteen forty-two. That's Norman. And John. No, that's Noble. Who are all these people? Workers on the farm, I guess. Uh, it was an apple orchard area, I think. Oh yeah, Port Arthur. Is that down near Niagara Falls? I'm not too sure. I know it's somewhere it's somewhere in Ontario. Yeah. I don't know what that says. Brave men shall not die because, what's that last word? I faltered. 
brave men shall not die because I faltered. Yeah, okay. Yes, where, right? Yeah. Sometime in January or February of 42. Another cold place. Toronto. Repair the ram trunk tank. Ram yeah. Tank at London. Oh, London, Ontario. Wellington. Yeah. Can't really see much detail. That's Norman. Oh, great. How'd that happen? I don't know. The page is upside down. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can flip it either. No. Sorry. That's all right. It looks like a snowy road. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The highway winding past Canyon our Creek. house Canyon on its Creek. way from Kelowna to McCullough. Yeah, Canyon Creek. Yeah, population 13,500. That's probably changed. What year was that? Hart's Corner, you remember that? Nope. We sit and we drive to, if the road goes around, curves around, and we park on the left hand side and look over the, the cloak orchards to, to the lake and cross West Bank. Oh, okay. West from East Kelowna. So that's Bob and Malcolm Taxker on the tractor? Yeah, that's right. They uh, both joined the Air Force together the same day. So they, they were like school buddies? Yeah, yeah. Very close up to the bitter end. Norm, uh, Malcolm died, I think, a year or two before Bob. Huh. Stanley Tasker was a good friend of mine. That's Ivy and Prince. Yeah, that was my dog originally. Really? Got run over, yeah. Scott family. This is a picnic, must be up Canyon Creek by the looks of it. Heather is the little one, my mother. There's Norman Lauren. and Lauren Hancock. Hancock? Where? In Italy, this one down here. Oh. K, K and I. Uh, you have to look under here, it's Lauren. Lauren. Rannick, Rennick, something like that. Italy, eh? Hmm. Sorry, I can't uh, see it any better than that. Anyhow, someone named Lauren when they were in Italy. Yeah. Oh. Ivy with Prince. That. That figures. I don't know where, where do you think this one would have been? Which one? Top right. Top right? Yeah. I'll have to look at it from afar. That's Heather up at Canyon Creek, probably. We used to go up there for picnics. That's uh, Heather, my mom, Verna. And that must be me. I was always okay. along. Dad and Bill. No, no, that's Jack Booth. This one's Jack Booth? Yeah, I think so. Looks like him. And there's that guy we don't know. And the guy with his head down, I think that's Bill. Good well, picture where, of my dad. <clears throat> where are you? I don't think I was on that picnic. Oh, this sort of one. looks like it could be you. I think so. Yeah. Although maybe a little too old for you, if that's how old Heather is. Norman is up here. 
to the right, far right, and Jack Booth and my dad. Good picture of my dad. Huh. Shirley Scott. Well, now we're getting into the Scots in Vancouver. They were the their Mabel Scott was my mum's cousin. They lived on Clark Drive in Vancouver. Hmm. They always looked after everybody when we went to Vancouver. Charlie and I, they took took us in for an afternoon. In the spring of 42, Bart was transferred from London to Prince George as a mechanic. They lived in tents the first summer while out training. Yeah. A group yeah. on motorcycles, he was injured in an accident. The result was he stayed for the duration. He met Peggy Douglas and married her. What is this? What is this? Sorry, what? What was this about a motorcycle? This is Bart. Bart was injured in a motorcycle accident and then he stayed in Prince George for the duration of the war. Oh, really? Yeah, so that's when Norman, when Norman got out of the army, he went to Prince George and he met up with Bart and Bart got him a job at uh, um, Overweighty. Bart warming hands over a little, yeah. Wonder whatever came of Bart, I guess he's gone, gone. Yeah, probably. And is that Bart with Jane? Uh, John Norrin. Oh yeah, again, John Norrin, okay. Lillian and I. Yeah. John's in the background there. Oh yeah. Oh, you see that that goes together. There's a pic. There's a picture of you and John together when you looked sullen. I think you're wearing the same outfit. Oh, probably. Didn't have many choices of clothes. There's Norman up on his trap line. I'll bet you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's overlooking the valley or something like that. Around Big White anyway, east side of Big White. Oh, what was that? Make the circuit. It took him seven um, days. Yeah. He enjoyed lots of snow, snowshoeing. And off to the army. A lot of snow. Doesn't he know doesn't mention Big White? Eh? No. Down on the bottom left there. And up over the mountain sometime as high as 7,000 feet in a large circle in the back in the valley, yeah. Probably was pretty big white, 7,000. Yeah, hey? probably was. Looks like some great ski areas. Yeah. There's Norman and Harry. Lots of snow on that cabin. Norman helped build Mum's rock garden. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. um, this is where he met Andrea. While in Holland, I met a very fine family, Mr. and Mrs. Van Hoonenstein. Their daughter Andrea Niekamp, my later married, 
sent us a packet of tulip bulbs. The results are shown in the photo on the right. She is? Oh, the tulips are. No, that's the tulips. The tulips that Andrea sent. That's that's uh, Norman and Jean. Yeah, yeah. It was after the war, eh? this Prince George? Uh, no, I think this is, he's still in Kelowna doing jobs around the, the area. What are they doing up that tree? God. Topping very tall shade trees around the house and machinery sheds. By the end of November, all the work was finished in the orchard for that year. And then he bought a 1928 Chev four door. Yeah, I remember that. God he used to drive that. That's what we learned to drive on. Charlie rolled it over. There it is. Rolled over. Yeah. Art, Art fixed that thing right up like it was new. So he went up to Prince George while he was there. My two youngest brothers, Charlie and John, took the car to the local store to pick up some items. On the way home, they rolled it over in the bank and through a fence. <laughs> The boys were not hurt, but the car suffered damages that can be seen on these pages. My well, oldest brother, Arthur, and a younger brother, Bob, were able to repair it still until it looked like new by strounging parts from garages and wrecking yards. Yeah. Um, Charlie was 13, I think, then. That uh, says he was 12. Oh, 12. Yeah, that's even better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, this is them fixing the car and the shot of the orchards in East Cologne. Yeah, they didn't show the tree, eh? Did they hit? No, not yet. Bob always got John and Arthur. That's Johnny Evans' truck they borrowed or rented. 1947? Yeah. John and Arthur, uh, was it usually Bob? Oh, Bob was gone then. Yeah. Arthur was driving this. Uh, yeah. 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 Canyon Creek. Crossing, okay. McCullough Road, okay, from Coloma. That's Charlie standing on the truck, I think. Well, you're in there, you're in there too, apparently. Johnny Evans truck, I got the name on it and everything. That doesn't look like me, it looks like Bob and Charlie. That looks like Bob, but it, it says it's Charlie and Bill. Really? And there's a little girl there too. I wonder if yeah. that's Jean Booth or something. Louise, your cousin Louise. Oh, Louise Booth. Okay. That's the whenever we went to a softball the girl softball team away from home, we went and his truck paid ten cents. Ten cents to rent the truck? No, we were on the back and Johnny Evans was the coach of the team. Oh. He owned the on the truck and he put uh, racks on you know and they they swayed back and forth yeah went to oliver once lady D. evans yeah johnny d evans norman and louise 46 okay Oh, this is Canyon Creek, isn't it? Irrigation overflow in the hills behind East Kelowna. Yeah. I think this is Canyon Creek. 
the falls of Penn Creek we used to climb up. On the left hand side, there's a, I think there's a rope that goes to the top. We used to pull ourselves up there. Yeah. Are, those, are, those, are those falls still there? Yeah, but you can't get in there. It's all private property now. Um. Tippy. Tippy, yeah. And who's that with Ivy? Uh, Lori. Uh, Lori? Yeah. Oh. Ivy and Lori. Okay. So that's Tippy. Yeah. Charlotte John's dog. Oh, yeah. I can see Lori now. <laughs> God. Charlie and his friend. Bruce. No, where's his friend? What he used it for. One, I forgot. Oh. Where are you reading? Uh, in between these oh, two here. Charlie and friend. Who... I think the friend is this old truck of his. Oh, yeah. Who, what he used to, used it for. Or what? He forgets. I forget. Yeah, I use it for hauling apples. Try to. That was my truck in the end. Charlie's to begin with, and then yours? Yeah. He bought it for 25. I bought it for 25 and never paid him. Yeah, you got the better deal. <laughs> yeah. Well, he tore it apart. And all the parts, I don't know what happened to that. And that's Norman, I think, with Bill's Oldsmobile. Pretty that's a nice looking uh, truck or car or whatever. An Oldsmobile coupe. There he's back in the army. Yeah, it's a pretty basic truck, eh? Yep. We ran it on, off a battery. No generator, had lights. So <laughs> how long would it run? Oh, all night. Really? Yeah, we'd go out to Kelowna there, roaring around, no muffler. Well, it was no manifold. You could see flame coming out about six inches of flame. <laughs> Noisy as hell. Oops, what have I done? Nobody had license. Oh, there's the sycamores, I think. There's Norman in San Vito, Italy, and him and Arthur in Holland. I've never seen any pictures of Norman in Italy, just one. And I know they were in, Nor uh, where was it? This says Holland. Yeah, it was uh, where Andrea was from. Yeah. Norman had been in Italy and he drove up. They, they moved the troops on a, uh, a, a ruse to the gate. Claude Tyson was involved in it. He was at Leghorn as an operator and they ran a wireless net to fool the Germans to think that they were still there, sending dummy messages. Really? And then Norman and all the, the Canadian army left Italy by ship to Marseille. And then they drove from Marseille up to Holland, to Appledorn. And I'd like to know where the map is that Norman had of that trip. Yeah, probably long gone. You know, Jack Booth and Dean Booth at the back with the hat. Yeah. And, oh, that's... Uh, Your mom... The three and John. So that's John there, eh? Jean Booth on the right, the blonde. She was at the Ridge and Janice. Jack and Jean. Janice used to talk to uh, Jean Booth, the little girl on the right. 
Did she? At Tumbler Ridge, and she didn't know they were relatives. Huh. And then she, uh, when they became friends, and knew who they were. It was about a year after she moved, this girl moved there. And then she moved away and she died of cancer. Huh. And Louise, and I don't know what became of her. There was Louise, and Jean, Louise, and what was the other girl's name? Louise was Norma? Her. Norma. Yeah, Norma was the second. Name. Huh. There's the old passenger boat from Lake Okanagan. Yeah. That's the Sycamus, isn't it? Yeah. Looks yeah. like it anyway, the word. Or Okanagan. I think it's Sycamus. Well, I think we're about halfway through these. Thank you, because I got to go get dressed. Yeah, I should go have some lunch. That too. Another cup of coffee. All right. Interesting pictures I've never seen before. Yeah, yeah. OK, so uh, have a good day. Good luck with your cake, eating it. Don't eat it all at once. My what? Your cake, your loaf. Oh, I've already eaten two slices. Yeah, just don't eat it all. <laughs> I'll try not to. All right, I'm going to hang up. So how do I hang up? Uh, I think it'll happen for you. Just close the screen. It did. Something all happened. right. Talk to you later. Thanks, Frank.